Hi everybody and welcome to the art studio. Uh, today we're going to be painting a, a little bit of a Halloween theme. Uh, I wanted to do this live but unfortunately I cannot connect like I did before and I have to figure out why. So um, because I've rearranged everything here and kind of tried to like start getting things uh, organized here in my art studio so that it's a little bit easier for me to do. Um, but the only downside to this is that you won't be able to see what kind of colors I'm mixing. And hopefully it's not going to be a lot, you know, of colors uh, as far as this is going to be a very easy painting. So um, without further ado, let's get started and uh, enjoy. So uh, we're going to be painting... Um, I, what I did here, oh geez, I'm getting connected to my uh, fan here. I got a new pull string because I could not do my fan. So now I got this one long one that's hitting me in the head. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, I've, I've kind of like done a um, background painting here. I like to kind of do that to just give it a little bit of oomph. Uh, so in, in one of my paintings before too, I've done this uh, several times, several paintings before. So this was just like a raw sienna with a, it's like a wash. Um, I kind of like doing that. And uh, if you watch uh, Mira Byler, I think is how you say her name, she does this on all her paintings as well. Uh, it just, what she said, and I agree with this, is it like uh, sometimes the canvas has a lot of divots. So this helps to kind of fill it in. So uh, we're going to be doing this little pumpkin with a raven. And I'm going to have like a background here of like a moonlit. So I might have to go through this again just to um, put the uh, actual bird back on here and everything. So let's see what we can do with this. Hopefully uh, we'll be able to get this going very nicely. Um, yeah, so I kind of rearranged all my my uh art studio um so can you can hear my dog out there so here's the uh we're going to be using raw sienna i hope you can see that uh, we're going to be using raw sienna uh i'm going to do some brilliant blue i'm not sure if that'll work uh, i want it more of a darker background i have some chromium uh chrome oxide green and of course i have some mars black I will be using some cobalt blue, and these are all different uh, brands. This is Liquitex, this is Artist Loft, this is Master's Touch, Master's Touch, and of course Golden, which is my favorite paints, um, which is expensive, a little bit expensive. I have some uh, student, well this is Soho, uh, this is Burnt Umber. We are going to be using some CAD cadmium yellow deep which is also soho and i put this plastic around which i hope well i guess that's not going to really help because it's not where it's supposed to be and i forgot uh titanium white so without further ado we're going to start of course i've got my my palette which I'm sorry that you can't see. I wish this would be live that I could do this. All right. So I'm going to just start out with a simple brush here. This is a uh, Pro Stroke uh, Creative Mark number six. And uh, let's start out with a little bit of white, if I can open that at all. Hopefully I can. Nope. It's pretty stuck. Mm. Yeah, that's going to be tough. Mm. Oh, nothing worse than not being able to open up your paint. Well, I have had quite a number of issues today. Let me get back. I probably have to uh, 
Uh oh, I think I cracked it on top. And I certainly did. I hope that that didn't dry out the paint. Kind of my Halloween theme painting. Hopefully. Well, I may end up having to just do a little oopsie. Uh, hold on here. I will be right back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I got this open. Um, and periodically you will definitely hear my dogs barking and I apologize for that. They uh, tend to, if there's a something outside, they'll bark like crazy. Alright. Alright, let's see what we can get here. That brush that I said I was going to use. So what I kind of want to do is get a little bit of white, kind of have like a yellow, I'm going to start out with the white and then uh, that's going to be up here, it's going to be kind of like moonlight, but because this bird, well, let's see what happens here, just kind of put the moon right here. Oh, there's lots of stuff going on here today. I'm not exactly sure how much of that I'm going to need. I'm going to try to get another. Oh, that one opened very easily. <laughs> this is the. Um, Cad Yellow. So that's a darker shade of Cad. It's a deep. I'm going to scoop some of that out onto my palette. What I'd like to do is put some of this plastic over that so it will help me to open next time. And it helps you. And um, I'm going to mix that up with the white. Now this, this yellow is pretty um, intense. So we're going to get a little moonlight in here. We can. I'm just going to mix that with some more white. I want that pretty much in this. more of the white and I just mixed a little bit of um, white and this yellow but look at how nice that looks on the background of this it really brings it out I'm going to rinse off my brush hopefully I'm not in the way of this uh, my body isn't in there here. We have a big moon here. All right. Now I'm going to get a little bit of the blue and black out. So this is, uh, oh, this is like a dark deep blue here. This is that brilliant blue. Alright, and I'm going to mix a little black in there to make it nice and dark. I don't 
know what's going on outside there. Grumpy does not like big trucks, <laughs> so he's going to be barking quite a bit. I don't know if you can see this on my palette. I just mixed that blue in there. I'm going to kind of like get some dark in here, some nice dark. And we're going to be blending over this also. I don't want that yellow to turn this green. This is going to be real dark in through here. Get that nice and dark. Hopefully I'm not in the way. No, I'm pretty good. Okay, I think I have my camera at a good angle. I have been struggling with that. And, uh, yeah, so. I know I haven't been painting for a while and I haven't been feeling too well with my aches and pains. I've been working with Diana um, of Artfully Blind. I've been working with her on every Tuesday. So if you want to see a live um, with her and myself every Tuesday, this Tuesday I'm not going to be there, unfortunately, because I've got a commitment. Um, I have a girl that's getting married, and uh, she wants me to do her hair, and I was going to do a dry run of it. So. Excuse me for a sec. Okay, I'm just going to let that ring. It's a spam. <laughs> I never get phone calls, and all of a sudden I'm on this, and I'm getting phone calls, of course. doesn't work out very well, does it? Now, this is, like I said, this is like a very easy painting. Um, so... I will definitely have the um, tracing on Patreon. However, it would be great if you could join my channel. Um, I have special things that I will be sending out to people uh, depending on the level of um, membership. But if you join my channel, uh, there are different levels. And I'd love for you to join. It would be nice, you know. I'd love to send you some prints and different things of my paintings. Um, if you join and you're a big subscriber member there uh, on my channel, um, I will send a big surprise. I mean, you will definitely get something special. Uh-huh. But uh, you have to join. And that helps me get my supplies. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and enjoy. That's what we want you to do. Enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to start getting this to get like a little bit of a glow here. I'm using just straight white in here. And as it gets down further, we get a little darker. And 
sometimes will do definitely get that glow a different a little bit darker as well or lighter I'm sorry <laughs> This is just going to be something in the dark. I don't know, kind of a raven sitting on a um, pumpkin if if the raven would be here at night, but uh, I don't see why not. You know, it's Halloween. Why not? Things happen on Halloween, right? My husband's out there having a good time. I don't know what he's cutting. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens when I go out there. As long as he doesn't get hurt. That's all that matters. Right? We don't want him getting hurt. down in here because we have some grasses down here but I want them to be like on a very dark deep background here Hopefully you uh, will be able to go out for Halloween, kids. Um, of course, I don't paint for children. I just paint for adults. But, uh, you know, if you're taking your child out, make sure you're going to people that you know. Even people that you know can sometimes be different than you expect. So just make sure you are careful. with your children, and I'm sure you are. If you're going to a party, be sensible. This COVID is still here. They actually have closed down a nursing home around here in Pittsburgh because there was COVID. So, in the home. It's just awful for older people. Okay, I'm going to rinse out my brush. I'm also going to get something here to drink and just check this out because I can see some things coming through, which is all right. I mean, the things that come through is fine. Um, <laughs> my husband's really going to town out there. here I'm telling you there's nothing exciting here I'm going into my white now kind of just oh blending some of this up it's going to be greenish but just kind of getting that to blend a little bit better and I may come back to this Sure yet. 
No, this is an 11 by 14 canvas, I'm sorry. Uh, you can uh, enlarge, if you have a way of enlarging the print, uh, you can do that. There's nothing wrong with that, you know, like your tracing. Um, I just like to use the smaller ones because uh, what happens here is when you're trying to get a um, frame for anything, uh, it's harder to get the larger ones. Plus, they're more expensive. I mean, you can go to Hobby Lobby and get a deal, you know, if they're 50% off and such, but... Uh, lighter blue. Uh, just mixing a little white with my blue there. A brilliant blue. And I just want this to come around here. Like that. Probably just going to kind of blend that again with some of this blue and black. blended. Now this would be great if you're going to have a paint party. You know, if you want to have a party on Halloween, this would be a great painting because it's easy. It's, oopsies, woo, did you see that? Um, and people would probably enjoy this a lot. Uh -huh. I'm just dipping my brush into some water because it's getting a little um, hard to blend here. All right, just gonna let that brush soak for a little bit. I'm gonna get another brush only because I need to have a little something different here. Um, get this little brush here. This is a uh, number four. Uh, I got this uh, on Amazon. It was came in a package of brushes and uh, it's a pretty nice brush. I, I like using it. Uh, I'm going to get some more of that yellow and more white. I'm just go around here a little bit more. A little bit more in here. And I like that the blue kind of blended in there. Oh my gosh, I hope he's being careful. Rinsing that out. Okay, and I'm going to get just some straight white. Put that back in my moon. Here. A nice big full moon and I'll get some dark shadows in that also all right so I'm gonna get some more black here um, this is my Mars black I think and I uh, told you this was acrylic and uh, instead of putting all these things in the uh, info section because I think sometimes people don't realize that it's in there I'm just telling you what I'm using and I'm just using straight black right out of the tube nothing fancy here and I'm going to go back up with my other brush that I was using. Kind of just fill in some of these spaces here. Although I'm going to have a little greenery in there also. And it's okay because this bird is going to be black anyway, so he's going to have some shine on this side, lightness. So we know that that is coming through here, okay? 
and um, I want to blend this just a little bit more with this uh, yellow. Um, I want to get that a little bit more. Um, that's just going to work though. Blending it. All right. So let's move on here. Um, Actually, this should be in here a little bit black and blue. So I guess I better get that in there. Get that black and blue in there. Definitely. I'm going to use my smaller brush for that. closer with that. Hopefully I'm not in the, the way. Oh no, good. Okay, good. Well, I'll tell you what, trying to set up your camera at the right angle is a little tough. It's not easy. Especially if you're not a prof professional. And I don't know any professionals to help me out, so... Um, I hope I can figure out how to do the lives again because sometimes I just like to do a live. Alright. Alrighty. All right, so our raven is all black. So I think I'm going to start working my way down and just getting him put in. It reminds me of uh, of our Edgar Allan Poe. The raven. And Lenore. Yeah, good old Lenore. <laughs> Never more, Lenore. Never more. He was a little goofy at that point. When he had a little bit of issues there. It's going to be hard to show up the um, feathers on this because of the fact that he, oh, yeah, that's going to, well, no, it's not. Oops. I can't remember how it is. Let's see. Let's wipe that off with the baby wipe. You know you can do that. Baby wipes are great for removing paint. Okay, so this is coming down here. This is definitely his uh, feather. His little feathers. 
And right in here is a straight uh, is part of the little thing that comes off of that pumpkin so. he just didn't join himself here now what I'm doing is I'm just using the side of my brush even though you can't see it on this background because of the um, depth of it, I am making little feathery strokes here. He's a pretty big raven. Very big. Very big indeed. Some of his leg here. I'll make sure we get that. And I like that uh, some of that underpainting is coming through because that kind of gives it a little bit of highlights in his, his body. I know you can't probably see that, but it's there. So I'm going to paint the background here um, in... Well, I think I'm going to use a gesso. I want that to be really covered. So, this is Liquitex gesso. Alright. I use this quite a bit. Um, if you ever watch, um, oh golly, I can't think of his name. But he uses gesso all the time. All the time in his paintings. going to use just so because I want a little bit better coverage uh, for this pumpkin especially around these areas here and it's probably gonna have some yellow in it because of the moon and the glow of the moon so uh-oh here we go the dogs are gonna start now <laughs> oh dear. So I'm going the same way as the pumpkin. So instead, of, I'm not going this way. You know, like the pumpkin has those little, if you can see this, little ridges here. And that's the way I'm going to paint this with the little, like going in those directions. And that's okay if some of that um, background underpainting shows. The underpainting is really an important piece, part of your painting. And I'm going to start doing that, um, painting my paintings with an underpainting. Um, sometimes I, I forget doing that, but, you know, that's really an important part of any kind of painting, to get your underpainting in there. that my husband is working out there cutting some of this tree that has gotten so huge um, he just wants to be able to go and dump it
All right. Now my next thing here, I just see I missed the spot here. I'm gonna just fill that in. Kind of come around here because I kind of, you know, like when these these um, canvases that are gallery wrapped. Oh, I better get those sides. It's hard to paint on those. Oh look, it came through. Huh? That's interesting. Well, these are like student grade. I'm not like, I kind of have to watch what I'm doing. Oh, all right, so we got to fix that. That's not good. Oopsie. Oopsie. Sorry, Grump. Sorry. That's still wet there, I guess. Still got, well, I'll tell you what. I don't know if I can get around that with that. There we go. Okay. All right. Let me get the other side because I guess I didn't think about that side here. I'm painting it. I'm just going to paint that black. Okay, so I'm going to hang it up. I'm going to get the bottom also right now, and then I'll do the top after. Okay, so this stem, I'm going to get also as a yellow, and I'm going to mix some more white and this uh, oxide here. I mean the uh, yellow, I'm sorry. I just kind of want a yellowish stem here. I'm using my large brush again. Try not to get into that blue and then end up with green. I'm leaving just a little space here because I want to uh, outline that in some umber. So if I leave a little space, it will be easier for me. Actually, it's just too much. I need like a raw brush or something. Let's see. No, that's too big. Let's see. It works better actually. I think this is pretty good. It's underneath his little claw there. To get that part right there, I think, with some black. And then this is going to kind of come over, so it's going to have to be painted a couple of times here. A little bit more white, it might make it more 
little peg, but Interesting there. All right. Okay, uh, now I'm going to fix that. Some black. Get my smaller brush here. Okay. Well, I should put it with black and blue, really. in the background here. Blue black. Just remember when you're touching it up that you're going kind of in that motion of round. Okay, a little light in through here, I guess. Too much. Boing. Just hit my face into that thing that I got there. Oh dear. Okay. Mm, there we go. All right. Okay. So we got that part. Let's just. A look here. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, get this pumpkin going here. Um, I'm going to put some lines. Well, I'm going to put another coat of white on here because I want that to be nice and white. So let's do that. It is unfortunate that I cannot, I cannot get my video camera to set up in, in my, um, YouTube. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but don't like it. in the way with this. And I'll probably end up putting another coat of this on as I work and get the shading into the um, actual pumpkin. sure if I'm going to be able to do lives now without this working. I don't know how to get it to work. I read up on different things and I just am like lost. So if anybody knows what I should do to get connected again with my webcaster, it's paired. It just will not connect for some reason. 
uh, YouTube's end is giving me an issue. And I'm not sure what it is. here so when you get something on somewhere that you don't want you can just wipe it off with a, with a wipe you know baby wipe and I'm sure you've seen that on other channels but it does indeed work got my Sally in here with me, I think. Well, she was. Oh, yeah, she's here. And um, Grumpy, I guess, is being grumpy and not coming in. <laughs> Mr. Grumpy. He likes to lay out on my chair out in the front room or the living room whatever you like to call that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is get a little bit of my umber, my burnt umber, if I can open this. Oh. Yes, okay. And start working that. Into my white and onto my other parts here. shading in here. Yeah. I mean, that's nice, that line, and then you just want to shade it out a little bit. And you could get a little shading down on the bottom. What you have in your brush here. It wouldn't hurt to actually put some of that on here. And we're going to have to put a little bit of yellow in here from the moon also. This is kind of working out nicely here, you can see. get a little bit more of white. I'm going to actually use white paint. Kind of just uh, blend this a little bit better. I'm in here. And up into this. Let's 
getting that to smooth out a little bit. This is a great brush. I just love it. I got a package of them and it's just working out really nice. I'm not in the way. You can at least see what I'm doing here. It's going to be more shaded over in this area. So you kind of want this a little bit more shaded. suddenly dried <laughs> just like it was like wet and then it dried real fast there okay let's get a little bit of water here more um this here like a little sharp line if I can get it there we go there we go <clears throat> so I was supposed to put out a oops painting or a, a diorama on Sunday and uh, what happened is after I got everything, uh, it kind of went to the wayside. The girl that was doing the diorama, kind of thing, I'm going to put probably more black in there, um, she wasn't up to date. So uh, what happened because of that, I don't have my diorama done, but I think I'm, what I'm going to do, um, I hope I'm not in here. No, just my hand. Uh, is I'm going to actually film what I did and up and put it out because next month uh, when she wants to do these, um, and it's going to be outdated. So I'm just going to kind of not do it with her uh, because mine kind of has a Halloween theme. And uh, that's just not going to look right. Okay. All right. So what I want to do here, um, kind of go in with a little bit of white, kind of blend that out a little bit so the lines aren't so harsh here. Probably need some more of that brown. Definitely has to be darker. Like I said, this has to be a little darker because it's more shaded. I'm trying to go into the black here. Okay, so, um, trees aren't really being bright in colors right now, and I, my husband said because the warm weather, um, these trees are not going to be as pretty, unfortunately. And uh, 
kind of sad. Um, but global warming, I feel that even though it is an environmental thing, uh, that change happens to our planet, you know, it, there is some normal, normalcy to it, but you have to be cautious as well to not have it go as fast as it's going. So, that's my take on that. And I'd like to hear what your opinions are about it. I mean, I, uh, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a environmentalist. I don't know certain things. I just know that things are changing. And if we don't start watching our planet and watch what we're doing in our lives, it's going to get worse. Before, and it's not going to get better. Things are happening that are way, way weird. Prayer. I mean, some of you may not be into that, but boy, we need something. Okay, well, that's that's shaping up really nice. What do you guys think? That looks pretty good. Okay, now I might get in. I hope I don't get into this. No, I'm still, still good. I need to go in front of this in order to get this to like do what I want it to do. shading here. Do you ever watch those videos where people are redoing their furniture? Man, I'll tell you, that's pretty cool how people can do that. I, I'm thinking about doing my uh, vanity in my bathroom. And another vanity, I, I want to do the bathroom. I, there's so much to do in this house. And uh, I just want to get some paint done on it. These are projects I have that I want to, to work on. Okay, this is shaping up. <coughs> This one here is definitely the darkest, darkest, darkest part here. You have to keep working at it. You can't just let it go, you know, until you like the way it looks, that it looks dimensional, that it has some shading. Shading is very important. And sometimes I think the best way to learn how to shade is to draw. You know, if you um, get your graphite pencils ready and start drawing and blending, just like I'm doing here with paint, I'm blending in the paint. Making it look a little bit more dimensional. as it starts to dry. All right, I'm going to start working on my stem here. So I am going to use my round brush and hopefully get this correct. Okay, so my round brush is a number six, six round. You can see that. All right, so this is where we're going to go with this. We have to get this Hopefully, I can get this to go. I need a little bit of water here. White lights coming on here. I'm 
just bring it over a little bit. lightly going in here just giving it a little bit of dimension also and shade shading each little piece Okay, I'm going to get some yellow and do the same thing I did before. Those lines aren't so harsh. Don't need that to be so harsh. get a finer detail brush. I'll cover up my um, because I want to line it. So I have this very small, it's a liner, it's a plaid, uh, it's a number two liner. some squigglies in here and in order to put squigglies in you need a liner and you need to hold your brush at the tip because you're not you're gonna not draw these in these are going to be Alright, if they get a little light at the edges, because that's cool. That looks cool. Oops. That one has a little knobby on it. I'm probably in the thing here. So hopefully, I can get out of it. And we'll put some more in as we finish up our little bird. All right, so I'm going to put some yellow. But this is like this deep yellow on his beautiful little feet.
so I better put a little white gesso here because I kind of covered up his feet and they're not going over the For the um, what I have here. Okay, so this this is actually part of his foot here too, and what I'm doing, uh, I'm gonna cover that again with some black. All right, so let's see here. Um, So that I missed before. going to go in straight black and go over my bird again. Kind of just with my brush, I'm just going to kind of give it a feathery uh, thing going on here. Got to stick some stars in here too. Kind of get that moon a little better too. Still want to get a little yellow in some of this also. my head's in the way. I'm hoping I got that right. Okay. Oops. Well, that's good there. That is actually a pretty good idea there, what I just did. his feet. Just, oh, heck. Okay. Too wet. Too wet. underneath this feet because that's a shadow. A bit of a shadow. That. Same here. Yeah, 
this one. Maybe just the bit on the big side here. Slimming it down some. change here because I don't like the way that's going. Don't. getting there. Add a little white. Now it's going to be a light brown, very pale brown. Just kind of like on the edge here a little bit because it's highlighted from the moon. So got his feet in there. Now we're going to get some blue. We're just going to add a touch of white to it. Okay. And we're going to add some bluish colors to him. Look like feathers. But because he's in the light, Only in certain areas because this is his a little white in here also. Just underneath here a little bit. Some blue. Just to give him a little pizzazz here. And blue is going to get a little darker on this side. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Then it'll show up. Not as much. It doesn't show up as much. But you have to get that blue in there so that it looks like he has some feathers. Because, um... Ravens have feathers, as do, oh, I just kind of covered up his leg there. Let's see if I can get that back. Now oh, I got something there. Okay, I'm going to cover up my brown again because I don't want that getting messed up. Um, yeah, he looks pretty cool there. Looking good, mister. 
Looking good. All right, I'm gonna put in his beak. Whoa, oops. Not with blue. I'm gonna get him with some yellow, this very cool yellow, which is almost like what's here, okay? Let me get a little. moonish color stuff in here. Little came out more yellow, didn't it? Just kind of tap in some of that. Well, maybe we'll come back and tap it in after. Um, get some of that blue light. Yeah, this is too light. It kind of looks good there. Let's put another coat of the yellow. Alright, on his beak. There we go, that's good. Alright, we gotta get his eye in there too. So, first thing I'm gonna do is get some gesso. Kind of just. <clears throat> his eye is right about here. Painted in with white. I've got a big eye. And then we'll get some dark. <clears throat> and I'm going to get in with more white into my blue. Just mixing up a little bit more light right here, like some light ones here. Just some lighter shades here. of the moon, the moon shadow. <gasps> oh, darn it. He's showing up pretty good there. Okay, uh, a little bit now of black. I'm going to mix a little gray. His eye. I'm just, I rolled my brush so I don't have to make a big mess here. Just hit it with a little bit of black. Just tapping it in there. 
I'm just tapping it in. Okay, oh, he looks nice. I like him. I'm going to get some of that brown. Looking at my brush. So you can see his little. So I'm going to hit some of this with some light, and i got to get that brown in that, or that gray. Let's see here if I can get that to tap in to the moon. So tap it in here. Get some of those little craters. Get some of that white. And I just tap it around here. It looks like the moon. Oh, I'll have to go over that a little bit more with some white. Just tap that and go in with some of the white. Get that a little bit Okay, let's get some light in here in certain areas and we should be good. Right? Let's get a little light in here. Not a lot. Because that'll screw up our beautiful, beautiful pumpkin. So let me get some more yellow. Thank you. 
pictures here. get some glasses in also um, they're gonna be dark but this is sitting in some grass so let's see if we can do that and I'm gonna use my green oxide for that and it's just gonna be straight I might mix some of it with uh, I'm not sure with um, black we'll see how it shows up here because I don't want it too too crazy here I'm just making strokes, light kind of strokes in different directions with this. I like this brush because it keeps its um, point. It's very nice. Now, I got these on Amazon. Uh, and they came through Jerry's Artorama. And they are called Pro Stroke. And I got a package of them. So this gives it a little bit of... Um, like it's sitting on something and not floating in air. That's why I'm putting this grass in. And I keep getting, hitting my, I don't know, <laughs> keep hitting my things that I got for my fan light. Awesome. Okay, so let's get just a tad of yellow and make a few light ones over here because we've got that shine there. So we just want a few light ones. Not a lot because it's still dark outside. We'll put some stars in now. Now, normally I will use the tip of a brush to do that, but I think. I can still use a tip. I have a little sprinkly thing, but since I already um, painted everything, I don't want to do that. So I'm just using the end of my, my brush. And I'll just tap a few in here like this. I don't want to go crazy. can be different size stars up in here. I'm not 
show as well, but they, we know they're in here. out there right now calling. <laughs> They're funny. They're something. In the morning you'll hear them sometimes. They just call, call, call. It's funny. Okay, let's see if we can figure out something with that moon. The moon. Give him a little bit more cover here. dark spots in there though because the moon does have them. Okay. It's kind of going over that lightly so that it's not so ugh. Alright, I think we have our oh we gotta put a little uh, sprinkle of something in the um, eye of the bird. A little glow. A little glow. If you can. Let's see here. Little dot. Right, right in here. There we go. No, he's glowing. And I think we have a finished project. What do you think? I hope you give me a thumbs up. Um, so it was very nice painting this picture. It's not, it wasn't hard. It's an easy painting. And I will definitely have this on the Patreon site, this, this um, tracing. You can see the bird is there. You got a little glow around him. So you know he's sitting on that pumpkin, uh, which is, I guess, a big one. I don't know. I. You know, it's hard to judge this, but uh, that glow from the background kind of gives it that spooky look. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I guess until the next time we meet, um, happy painting. Bye for now. Bye. And if anybody has any ideas about the uh, webcaster, uh, Send, give me a comment down below because I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what's going on with it. There's something on the YouTube end um, that's not working. So um, I appreciate it. Thumbs up. Join my channel. Get some perks. And bye.